Alright, so welcome to the 2019 uh, PTX. So right in this little black circle here, you'll find your power cord. It just pulls on out of there. Generally, you'll get about 25 to 30 feet of it. So if you just pull it onto the back here, where we've got our power cord. So 30 amp cord, most campsites are gonna have that for you. You can just plug right on in. Now, if you're looking to plug in at home to charge your batteries, run your fridge, whatever it may be, you just come into your storage compartment here. We do have a little park adapter for you to plug into your cord and then into your house. We also supply you with a fresh water hose just for plugging into your uh, fresh water inlet or your city water inlet. So right here is just your hot water tank. So all of your controls for it are just inside. Before you ever turn it on though, you just want to hit this pressure relief bulb there. Make sure that bit of water comes out. That water comes out, it's just letting you know that it's full and it's safe to fire up. And you just pull that bumper cap off right there, right inside it, we've got your uh, sewer hose for you. So this stores in there, stretches out to 20 feet. That sewer hose just has those two ears there. Match the two ears on your sewer cover. So, you come right on over here. Here's your sewer cover, so you just undo that, same ears that your hose has. Pull your black valve there, dumps out your black tank, your black tank is full from your toilet. Once the black tank's done, you'll pull the gray valve here, and that'll dump out your gray tank. Your gray tank is full from your uh, shower as well as your sinks, so generally just cleaner water helps keep the hose clean. And then right in the very back here, this little black port right here is just your city water inlet. So you take that water hose, plug it into there, turn on the water, and it pressurizes your water system. And right beside it is an outside shower here. So a little key like this slides in, and there you go. You get a three foot hose, standard head, hot and cold water. And in each of the four corners of the trailer, you've just got your stabilizer jacks down here. It's a little three quarter inch end right there. We've got an adapter up front for you to run them down. When you run them down, you're looking for them to just contact the ground and kind of firm up the trailer a little bit. You don't want to try to lift the trailer with them. They will just fold. Right here is your cable and satellite inlet. So just a standard coax cable, plugs into there, fires up your TV. This port right here, if you just open that up, is your fresh water tank fill. So you take the same water hose, stick it into there, run the water until it's full. You know that tank is full when it starts spitting water out of the vent there. And right down here, marked by that sticker, is your fresh water drain. So just that little cock right there, turn it over, drains out your tank. As we come up front here, you can see the customer has already outfitted the unit with some accessories. So we've just got your standard tongue jack there, just turns to open it, turns it to bring it down as well. Bike rack here, as well as the uh, radio frequency brake controller to Bluetooth to your truck. And then right behind your propane tank here is your battery. So you just undo the battery, you've got your battery right in there, it's all hooked up. As long as you're plugged in, that battery's charging. Your propane tank right here, very standard, just turn it to open, and there you go. Now with the one tank of propane here, it is gonna be common, or not common, but it will happen eventually where you do run something and it will just die. Odds are your propane's just run out. Right here, it's just the other end of your storage compartment, sees straight through to the other side, is accessible from underneath your bed. And here's that little three quarter inch bit that we were talking about. And as you move back, you see you've just got your outside speakers here. Right above it is this little stove vent. So the stove is of course propane. Whenever you're running that, it is putting off fumes. So just underneath it here, you can see it's just a little flap there. You just want to make sure that's open, allows the fumes to escape. This here is just a service port for your fridge. Nothing back there for you to worry about. This here is the exhaust for your furnace. So of course, if you're ever running your furnace, that guy does get hot. You don't want anything drooped over that. Power outlet right here, so if you wanted to make coffee, have a TV out here, whatever you want, you've got the power for it. And then right below that, right down here, are your low point drains. So if you wanted to just drain out the water from the trailer, you just open that up and that'll drain out all the water. The two hoses here are marked. You've got a blue one and a red one, blue for cold, red for hot, and that's that. And then lastly, in the back here, you just got this little dog tie down, keep your, keep your pets leashed up outside. 
for your steps, just grab the bottom, pull it on out, and that's that. And here we go on inside. So as you come inside, right on the wall here, you've just got your fire extinguisher, standard, pull the pin, point, and shoot. That light switch right there just does your awning light outside or your porch light, it's alright. One of them. Does the speaker lights. Yeah. Right above the sink, you just got the little push button for your light there. And the rest of the lights throughout the trailer are all on their own push buttons, except for this one here, which is up on the wall there on the left. The light switch on the right turns on your awning light. And then for your awning here, if you just press and hold out. It'll bring your awning on out. Now that is kind of normal so you can just catch like that. That's okay. And then as you bring it out, you'll see that end flap will just kind of come down here. And that's all you're really looking for. If you were to continue pressing the button, it will just about wind itself up backwards. You don't want that. So as soon as that flap is down that's all you're looking for there and with your awning out if it were to rain it is of course going to hold water so you can come to either arm front or back and just loosen off this lock there pull the arm in tighten it down and that'll hold the angle for you again same thing at the front loosen it off let it extend freely and then you can come back inside and run it on in like that. So as you make it inside here, your bed's right in the front. So if you pull that up, you do have your storage right here with the little prop there to just hold it open. Just like that. There we go. Right beside your bed down here, you've got a power outlet storage up top, your smoke detector. Your smoke detectors do run just off of a little 9 volt battery, so it's just something to keep in mind. The storage above your dinettes here, just wide open all the way across. And underneath it, got a dinette light there as well. On the back wall here, you can see you've just got your uh, TV outlet. So if you press that little booster there on the right, it'll turn on your antenna. And this white thing right here is your antenna. So if you press that in and turn it, you can just search for your best signal. Whenever you're traveling though, you do want to make sure it is rotated completely clockwise. That just ensures that it is lined up straight and doesn't damage anything while traveling down the road. Right below the power outlet here is your thermostat, controls just your furnace. So you take this top knob there over to the left, turns it on, temperature control just at the bottom here. Your furnace is right down, just on the floor here. And you just turn this to aim your air. And to turn the furnace back off, you're just gonna take that top knob there, just slide it over to the right, you'll hear a click, and there you go. So at your stove here, right above it in your um, range hood here, turn the light on, you also got a fan there. So for firing your stove, you're just going to turn it over to high, hit it with a lighter, and there you go. Alright. Right above your range hood is just a microwave standard. And right below your sink is a little sound bar. So you press the power button there, turns it on. And then you've got open controls for it. So currently Bluetooth, hit mode, you cycle through, you've got radio, AM, FM, you get your auxiliary in, which is just on the side here. TV, which would be through your HDMI there, or DVD, which isn't currently hooked up. And then of course Bluetooth again. All the controls right on top here, very simple. Press power to turn it back off.
Yeah, right below your fridge here is your converter. So you just pop that open and there you go. All of your breakers there on the left. If a breaker ever breaks, it'll sit in the middle. So just turn it off and then back on. And all of your fuses on the side here. If a fuse ever pops, you'll get a little red light beside it, letting you know exactly which one's popping. And right beside it is your propane detector. So if there's ever a leak in the trailer, propane's heavier than air, it sits on the floor. This guy will detect it and start going off just like your smoke detector. And then for your fridge, you just got the controls up at the top here. So it is all labeled with this button on the left in, it turns it on. With the button on the right there in, it runs on auto, which is first gonna go to AC power and then to propane. And if it doesn't have AC, it automatically switches over. If you choose to run solely on gas, just have this right button come out, and that'll run solely on gas. And if you were to get this check light right beside it, it's just letting you know that it hasn't lit, at which point just turn it off and then back on to reset it. And if that still doesn't go, then that's at the point where you're gonna be looking and checking at your uh, propane. So as you open it up, you can see you've just got the light there. And then right up on the side here, as you raise that, you'll make your fridge cooler or you can bring it down to make it warmer. So for your bunks here, you do just have lights up on the walls, as well as USB outlets for charging phones, etc. And then into the bathroom. So you do just have your hot water tank control right up on the wall there. Turn it over to the right, fires up. That light comes on to let you know that it's supposed to be turning on. If it were to come back on, it's letting you know that it hasn't lit. The same thing with your fridge, you're just gonna turn it off and then back on to reset it. And again, if it doesn't go, just check your propane. Below it is your monitor panel. So, your pump switch on the bottom there, turn that pump switch on, turns on your water pump. The first switch on the bottom there is your battery. So because we're plugged in right now, we're currently L for low, F would be fair, G would be good, and C would be charging. Fresh tells you your fresh tank levels, currently empty as well as your black and your gray. These two lights in the down here, not really gonna use those in those in this unit, just not outfitted for it. And then right on the bottom is your light switch. For your toilet, standard, just got the little foot pedal there. And the basic shower as well. For your roof vent, just turn that to open, make its way up, and a little fan switch in the back there. And there you go. That's about it for this little unit here. Again, if you've got any questions, please feel free to give us a call. 204-237-7272.